Hi you guys, um, first of all, I'm so sorry about my face. I am breaking out like crazy and um, this lighting doesn't actually help with it at all. Um, but today I wanted to film a video on assumptions that you guys have made about me. I surprisingly got a lot of really kind assumptions, which I'm not sure if you guys are just super duper nice and you're not being like truthful and honest with me, but they were really nice and I just wanted to say thank you. Um, most of them were actually true, which is such a douchey thing to say, but you know, um, yeah, you guys were super nice, so what can I say? So, without further ado, if you guys want to know what assumptions you guys have made about me, do keep watching. But before I start, I just wanted to say, anyone who's new here, welcome. My name's June. I'm a doctor by day, and I make um, videos on like luxury items, handbags. So, if you're into these type of things, or you're curious about my life, please subscribe. I would love to have you back, and join my little YouTube family here. Okay, so, let's start. NDS1123. An assumption she made about me is you don't let your anger show because you're too nice. Actually, this is like partly true. When I don't know you, no, I don't tend to sort of show my anger as much. But if your family or you're a really close friend of mine, I'm pretty blunt and I'm pretty honest with how I feel most of the time. And I just don't really deal with too much BS. So if I'm not up for it, I actually just, um, I will shut you off or, um, you know, tell you to your face. I tend not to beat around the bush too much. I just don't think it's very productive. So I would say that is actually not true. You are very hardworking and you love your job. Um, <laughs> I actually don't work that much. <laughs> I used to. I've cut down my hours because um, as much as I love the job I'm in, I do also like having a life and that's why I picked the sort of specialty that I'm doing. Um, I'm actually not the typical doctor that you would see online where you're sort of working 7 to 7, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. That used to be my life but um, now that I'm getting older I'm like trying to prioritize other things in my life and I do love my job but it certainly has its moments and I don't wake up every day going I can't wait to go back to work not always the case there are some days where it, it's nice like to sort of see some patients that you've helped um, but um, more or less like I do love like the type of job I'm in but I wouldn't say like I love 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 it does that make sense like yeah you spend a lot of money on luxury bags yeah yeah that's a pretty correct assumption yeah you work really hard and earn things you buy um that is true. I do work hard. Like when I'm not working, I'm making videos and all of it, like everything I buy is um, with my own money. So in terms of like that aspect, I think I do, you know, I don't like let other people buy stuff for me. I don't let family buy stuff for me. Everything I've owned is through my own like hard work and like my own money. So I would say that that's a pretty correct assumption. Um, that you grew up in an upper middle class family, that's how you had support to go to med school. I mean, yes, yes and no, like, so, during med school, I didn't have to work. I'm really, really thankful about that. Like, my parents sort of made it a priority to get a university degree before working, so I didn't actually have to work part-time or full-time at all while I was studying, which helped a lot. Um, in Australia, we can pay for our student fees later when we actually get a job. So for my student fees, I'm actually paying myself. Uh, my parents didn't help me with that, or my parents aren't helping me with that. And then obviously the government helped a lot in terms of paying for my rent. But yes, my parents did give money for allowances, for books, that sort of thing. So they did definitely help me through medical school. And I, you know, credit credit them for that. There's five kids in our family so you know we didn't pick like inexpensive degrees unfortunately and some of them required that we go interstate so yeah my parents definitely did help me go through medical school and they worked really hard to like to get me there. You seemed a bit more arrogant to me when you were younger. I think you're more down to earth now. Huh, I didn't notice that but um, I guess so. I know I was a lot crazier when I was younger. I was a lot more like 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 psycho if you could describe it that um, I am a lot more chilled now but yeah I could flip a switch just like that when I was younger and it was not a pretty sight <laughs> Chinchira says that you have a perfect dating life girl I wish I have like not been on a date since uh, my ex and I broke up so uh, yeah no not really um, dreaming sequence you're very smart I mean I think you know to get into medical school you do need to sort of like 
know how to study and you do need to have some form of like intelligence but I, I wouldn't say I'm very smart I think I would be more hardworking. I'm not naturally smart like some people um, so I don't know but I mean it's not an incorrect assumption but I probably wouldn't say that I am very smart you're one of those amazing doctors who actually has work-life balance love your videos oh you guys thank you um, I actually do have a pretty good work-life balance that I do have like it's taken me years and years and years but I think I'm getting there and that's always what I wanted I never wanted to be one of those doctors who slaved away at the hospital um, I wanted to be able to enjoy my life and I think I'm getting there you have great style thank you I'm I mean like compared to everyone on Instagram probably not but thank you I will take that um, another assumption is I'm family orientated. This is probably one of the truest assumptions you guys could have, like, could ever make about me. I love my family. They are my rock. They are everything to me and it kills me that I'm so, so far away from them. Like, um, I could spend, like, days and days with my family and, you know, just be perfectly content. My siblings are like my friends and I love spending time with them. I adore them. Um, yeah, I just cannot say enough good things yes obviously we fight like our family fights a lot and sometimes it's frustrating as hell but I honestly could not you know I could not like ask for another family like I just I love my family um another assumptions total boss babe oh thank you I'm not but thanks I've said this before but I'll say it again I love your style this is not really an assumption so oh, thanks Jenny really appreciate it Claire says I'm rich no actually I'm not I you guys see how much stuff like I buy like no there's no way I can be rich if I'm, if I'm buying all these bags um, I need to work on it because I'm not getting any younger and I need to start you know putting some money away but you know I'm just being honest with you guys unfortunately no I'm not rich <laughs> but I mean I do get paid well I'm not gonna lie about that so Miss Tonian sweet and down to earth you guys you're making me feel bad because I just feel like I'm not that sweet like in real life, yes, I do have my nice moments, but I probably, if I was with my group of friends, there's definitely girls who are much, much sweeter than me, um, that compared to them, I'm just like a lump of coal, you know what I mean? Like, but anyways, thank you. That's really, really nice. Um, Jasmine Filza, you're super close with your family. Again, or like a super, super correct assumption. Dora Lee Q. Um, says you're single. That's actually a correct assumption even though this was made before my like life update video I hadn't been single for 10 years and um, and I can see why people assume that I was single. It's because I didn't really post stuff about my partner um, even though we were together for a really really long time and that's just because he decided a long time ago he didn't really want to be like Part of this thing he didn't want people knowing about him he just you know he didn't he wasn't interested so I obviously don't want to you know, I don't want to put extra pressure on him so I don't mention him very much in my Instagram or my vlogs but I have actually been um, you know in a relationship for a long time 808 Islander girl says you're fun to hang out with I reckon I am I would say I am I do I think so <laughs> Um, Rainbow Jenny one, you hate socks. You're actually that's so random, but it's true. Like that's why I wear a lot of um, open footwear, sandals. I just don't like. I think it's just like all part of like enclosed footwear. I just don't like it. So shoes where it's closed. Um, and yeah, I don't typically wear socks. I don't like socks. You're right, Jenny. Well done. I think you are smart and cute. Thank you. <laughs> the Chronicles of Nazanin. Gorgeous, driven, and independent. Guys, you're making me blush, honestly. You guys are so sweet. Like, I think you're you're way, way, way too nice, like, in these assumptions. Like, you're making me feel like I'm actually not good enough to be here. And I feel like I'm leading you guys down the wrong path. <laughs> no assumptions. You are as real as it gets. I like that. I hope so. Yeah, I mean, I try to be the same here as I am in real life. Jago, Danit, you make a lot of money. Maybe Australia has big salaries comp compared to my country. I think um, as a doctor, we do make more money than the regular population. But in terms of like the sphere of doctor paychecks, I'm actually on the very, very lowest end. There are far more doctors who get more, more, more money than me, like five, ten times the amount. So, um yeah I wouldn't say like I wouldn't say I make a lot of money like it's not like it's not money coming out through my ears but um, yeah 
I probably would make more than the average like income. Um, Katie Carter, you didn't understand fashion until after high school, of course. <laughs> now you do though. Okay, like I think I was pretty fashionable like during high school. Like yes, I made some interesting fashion choices, but like fashion is you know whatever you want it to be. I would say I'm I was pretty much like ahead of the ball game when it when it came to fashion when I was in high school. Um, obviously fashion changes and style changes so it might not have been fashionable then but it was fashionable to me. Um, but yeah I think I was even more daring in high school than I am now. But thank you. Loban Dino Nicole. You're Filipino? Yes that is the correct assumption. Louis Vuitton Coffee Lover wrote that you're, you are very easygoing and fun, yet very job orientated and such a career woman. This, I, I think that this is, this is a pretty true assumption. Um, it's, I feel really cocky to be like, yeah, that's a, that's a correct assumption about me. Like, <laughs> I would say I'm pretty chill. Like, I'm pretty relaxed, but obviously like anybody else, I can get annoyed and I tend not to sort of beat around the bush when it comes to that sort of thing. I'm not very confrontational, but I, you know, with my close friends, I'll probably let them know rather than not. Like, I am very, you know, career orientated. I do like having a stable like job and a career. I like having a goal. I like having direction. So I think that in a sense this is a pretty correct assumption. Poor Puzzle 8 wrote, you're an impulsive shopper. Kinda. I mean, as much as I'm I'm an impulse shopper, I do like think about my purchases. I, I don't just go to the shops and just buy things. Um, at least when it comes to handbags. When it comes to clothing, probably. Definitely. <laughs> X-rated, right? You say you like Android, but still stick to Apple Apple products. <laughs> uh, kind of true. Look, I mean, I did make this whole thing on Instagram that I'm looking to get the Pixel, and I actually did get that. Um, but after owning it for like a month, I did not like it. It was more Instagram. Uh, I just didn't really like how certain apps worked on Android. That really threw me. The actual phone was fine. The camera was amazing and I'm thinking of getting a Pixel just like phone for the camera like as a phone camera but I just I couldn't get over how like Instagram looked, how like certain apps looked. It just it sounds super stupid and it just unreasonable but I mean that's how I felt and so that's why I could get it but yeah oh my god the camera on the pixel is a million times better than a Apple camera like 100% just FYI. Molly Margot wrote you're loaded as I said not true. So Danica Mazona and Via Marie Ramos both wrote the same thing you can understand Tagalog but can't speak it this is so true. Very true, sadly. I can't speak any Tagalog. I can understand a little bit, very crudely. Um, if you were to read a book to me, like a novel, I would not be able to understand that. But everyday language, I kind of can. Um, but yeah, definitely can't speak it. Patre Che Che. That you can balance your life well. Honestly, how do you do it without feeling exhausted? Well, at the moment, I'm in a job where I can play around with my hours um, and I can like choose when I want to work. And that's really like helped me um, to be able to do things that I want to do, like filming videos for you guys, but then still like do the job that I like I've studied all my life for. I'm just really grateful for the specialty I'm in. I think like without this specialty, I honestly couldn't have the balance at all um, because being a doctor doesn't always mean you have to be at the hospital. There's certain specialties where, you know, it affords you more of like a lifestyle. It affords you more of a life outside of medicine. And so that's what I chose. Obviously there's sacrifices like prestige um, and also money, but it depends on what is important to you and family, life, balance. That was really, really important to me. And so I made that decision pretty early on in my career. So that is it, you guys. That is the assumptions you guys have made about me. Honestly, not very scandalous at all. I must be like a super boring person. Yeah. <laughs> it's just funny that you guys like are so nice and then I just and I kind of feel bad that I you guys presume all these really really nice and wonderful things about me and I feel like maybe I'm actually not living up to who you guys think I am. But anyways I had fun filming this video. I hope you guys did too. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If there's any assumptions you've made about me let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to read them and I will definitely try and respond. I hope you guys enjoyed this. For all my new viewers I hope you enjoyed it and you would consider subscribing. As always you guys thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week or weekend and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.